Again, adding with unlike denominators, starting out by factoring both denominators. I have a negative here, so that means I have a positive, and then the other binomial is going to have a negative. Thinking of factors of 18, 1 and 18, um, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. Now, my middle term is not very large, so I'm going to pick a set of factors that is close together. That would be 3 and 6. And I'm going to make the larger one a positive, since the middle term is a positive. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. First term, w squared. Outer term, that's negative 3w. Inner term, 6w. So minus 3w plus 6w does, fact, does um, give me a middle term of 3w. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. So I have the factorization of that first denominator. Second one, 2w squared minus 7w plus 3. Okay, I have a positive here, and I actually have a negative here, which tells me that I've got two negatives. Since this is 2w squared, I need a 2w here and a w here. And I have 3, so that doesn't leave me with a lot of choices for factors. So I'm going to go ahead, I have, just for 3, I've got 1 and 3. So I'm going to try the 1 here and the 3 here and check this out. First terms, 2w squared. Outer, negative 6w. Inner, negative w negative 6w plus negative w, negative 7w. Last, negative w times negative 3, which is 3. So this factorization checks out. I've got the denominators factored. I'm going to find the least common multiple. Okay, up here I have w plus 6, and I have a w minus 3. So the w minus 3 is taken care of. Down here, though, I also have 2w minus 1. So this is my least common multiple. Now, I'm going to rewrite these rational expressions, putting the denominators in their factored form, so I can see what I need to add, uh, multiply by to get my least common multiples in the denominator. Factorization of this trinomial is w plus 6, w minus 3. The second one factored out to 2w minus 1 times w minus 3. Okay. Now, looking at what I'm missing, here I have w plus 6 and w minus 3. I'm missing 2w minus 1. So I need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2w minus 1 over here. I've got the 2w minus 1 and the w minus 3, but I'm missing w plus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that. Now I need to do some simplification of these numerators and then add. So 2w minus 1 times w minus 4. That's 2w times w is 2w squared. Outer term, that is going to be negative 8w, inner, negative w, last, negative 1 times negative 4, is plus 4. Okay? Over here, 2w times w is going to give me 2w squared. Outer term is going to be 12w. Inner term, 3w. Last term, 18. Now I've got my denominator, which is the LCM. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the numerators and put them over their common denominators. Common denominator, I'll just write that in so that's taken care of. 
numerators. I can add since these have a common denominator. I have 2w squared and another w squared term, 2w squared. 2 plus 2w squared, that is 4w squared. Now, my terms with w's in them. I have negative 8w minus w. That gives me negative 9 plus 12w. Negative 9w plus 12w is 3w. Plus 3w, 6w. Okay, now I have 4w, 4, just the constant 4, plus 18. And that is going to give me 22. Now, you could try to factor this and see if there are common factors. But if you did, you would end up finding out that there are no common factors. This cannot be simplified, so we can't take this problem any farther. So again, we handled these by finding the least common multiple, using that as the denominator by writing equivalent rational expressions with the LCM in the denominator, went ahead and multiplied out my numerators, and added. And this cannot be simplified any further. So in today's lesson, we learned about adding rational expressions with unlike denominators. I'll see you again at educator.com.